Hello, welcome to another unboxing video from me. I unboxed Devil May Cry not that long ago. And today, we're unboxing... Bloodborne, the board game. Ah. So back this on Kickstarter, I'll put some stats here about how much it cost and stuff, and what's in this box. Let's get to the unboxing. Okay, so here we have the box, and let's get to it. A lot of paper packaging. Alright, what we got, what we got? We have Margot's Loft. Margot's Loft? Hmm. And Upper, th Upper Cathedral Ward, another expansion. And oh, hello. Let's get this packaging out of the way. And we have the core. Oh, this is a Blood Moon box. This isn't even the core box. Nice, okay. Alright, this is a beefy box. <laughs> We've got Chalice Dungeon expansion. And finally, the core box. Ooh. So yeah, quite neatly packaged. Let's move over to do some unboxing. So here we have the core box in its splendor. Uh, lovely art on the front with the, the hunter. Um, some pretty standard stuff on the edge there. I think it's the, it's the same all the way around. Um, and we have the back, which say, so we got pieces, obviously that's spoilers for this unboxing. Um, and we got a bit of flavor text. Welcome home, good hunter. The blood moon rises in the, into the night sky, pushing the city of Yarnum into madness and chaos. Hunters are tasked with cleansing the infected victims of the beast plague on this night of the hunt. Should they tarry or fail their task. Yarnum will succumb to insanity and death. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt. Yep, very cool box. Uh, let's... Whoops. <laughs> let's open her up and see. There we go. So there's the front of the box again without the... the shrink wrap. It's a nice matte finish as well on the board game. Free content? Get it here. Oh, okay. Um, so we have the rule book in English and American. Um, yeah, it seems pretty Nice, nice art on the rule book there. Um, we got some tokens, some floor tiles. Nice art on the floor tiles as well. More floor tiles. Lots. I, these are all floor tiles. Oh no! So that's all the. Four tiles. These are player boards, I'm guessing. Or an enemy board? There's only one of them, so. Okay. And here we have. Oh. Some lovely minis. Um but we will get to them later. So at the end of the video, I'll do a full overview of all these miniatures. What else have we got in here? All right, these are the player boards. And then there's some character sheets. So we've got the, the saw cleaver there 
and it shows it in its transformed state. Threaded cane. The hunter axe, which is some nice art on these. And Ludwig's holy blade. And yep, just some player boards. Ooh, now this is nice. This look, looks like the tray holds all the tokens and the cards. Let's get these cards. Let's have a look at some of these cards. So we have what I look like weapon. Oh, wait. Ow. Pistol cards, like gun cards, and some bosses. And these look like story cards. Yep. I'm guessing these are the part of the campaigns. That's an introduction. Story spoilers for the Bloodborne card game. I love this insert though, it's very nice. Just holding everything. And these are just gonna be more more campaign cards. Do we need to look at the last campaign card? I don't think so. It's called The Secrets of the Church. Oh, let's look at these cards. Okay, this is another campaign card, Fall of Old Yarnum. Um, and there's these tiny little cards, which I'm guessing are items, because it says consumables. If I could get in. <laughs> Yeah, like just nice art from the game. And then, right, let's put these in there where they're supposed to go. These look like more art cards with the my saw art cards. Just action cards, I think. Yeah. Haven't played the game. Haven't read the rules. I've played the video game. More cards. These are like just more item cards. So have a look. Let's get them open and have a look. What have we got? Yeah. Nice out on there. Oh, we already know what these are. These are just more action cards. Don't need to open them. And these are enemy action cards. A lot of tiny cards. Uh, if you watched my last unboxing, The Devil May Cry. A lot of full, lots of cards in that game, but they're all full size. This is like enemy action cards. Oh, and like a boss action deck. Very cool. And then finally, these little decks of cards. Um, what are these things? Player cards, I would think. These are like the player aid cards. Nice art on these there. Yeah, so that's everything in the core box. Um, again, at the end of the video, at the end of the, we'll unbox all the boxes and then we'll have an overview of all the minis in detail. Um, yeah, very nice tray though for the core box. I hope all of these have something like this. So here we have the first expansion, the Blood Moon box. Um, 
similar no flavor text on the back this time let's get it open and we'll have a better look at it without the shrink wrap the shrink wrap reflects the lights a bit too much so there we go so it's, again nice matte finish nice art on this same around the edge So I don't know what's in this either. Okay, all right, so we got... <laughs> what is this? What is this nonsense? Ah, more player cards. So we got the Tonitrus. It's charged state as well. Blades, of, Blade of Mercy. Ooh. Ludwig's Uncanny Holy Blade. Lagarius' wheel. The Kirk Hammer. And Burial Blade. So, carrying on, we've got more cards. That, they look like more player cards. Let's open them up and see. Oh man, these might be boss cards actually. I think they're boss cards. <clears throat> we have more like pistol cards and a boss card there and a boss behavior deck. And again, you can fit all the cards into a nice little inset in there. That's like, oh, I, you know, box management is a nice touch right let's I think let's try and get this out. and these are the minis as you can see but again we'll get, we'll get to them at the end of the video and I'm in that mini overview but there's lots of minis fits very neatly in the box very nice so let's move on to the next expansion so here we have the next one it is the chalice dungeon it's a bigger box than the blood moon um this one has some flavor text delve into the dungeons deep beneath the city of yarnum lie the twisted halls of the chalice dungeons vast underground ruins populated by horrific beasts and otherworldly monstrosities within hunters will be put to the ultimate test. Unknown horrors await. Let us arm ourselves, ready our spirits, and venture forth to face the challenge before us. The call to the hunt has been given. Who will return alive? Again, more spoilers of what's in the box. Let's get the shrink wrap off. Here's another look. At the front of the board, uh, front of the box, nice art again, very Bloodborne. Um, a nice matte finish as the other ones. So here we have the rules for the Chalice Dungeon. Not big, just like some extra rules, I'm guessing. More uh, floor tiles. What are these? Like little. Oh, for like PvP? Little like player screens? That That's very nice. And then some more player cards. We have the Beast Claw. Uh, Chickage? Chickage? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Looks cool though. Stake Driver. Rifle Spear. And some more uh, boss and monster cards. Don't need to open them. We've seen all them. Beast possessed soul. Uh, ooh, okay. Let's open these. These seem like pretty. 
might be a bit different. Ah, uh, yeah, more pistol and more monster cards. And the chalice dungeon deck. I don't think it's really a story, but you know. And some boss behavior cards. And then there is the chalice dungeon minis, which we will look in depth. Again, everything fits really neatly into the box. I really like this box design. I think once like I've looked through all the minis, I can probably get rid of this cardboard thing. I think that's just to keep the minis in place when you're transporting. Put them in. But let's move back to let's move on to the next expansion. So here we go, the next one is Upper Cathedral Ward. Um, ooh, some flavor text on the back. Discover the church's darkest secret. Dark omens born in an ill wind spread across Yarnum from the Cathedral Ward. What horrors has the church awakened? The most delicate hun dedicated hunters must enter the ward and drive and divine the truth. But insight brings with it a touch was it with it the touch of madness? How much can a hunter endure? All right, let's take the shrink wrap off. Shrink wrap off. Let's take the shrink wrap off, so we can see the box in all its glory without my lights. So, yeah, again, nice art. This campaign had a lot of expansions, um, and I only choose a I only chose a couple, I think. Like other than the ones you just get from backing it. So we've got more, another floor tile and a gigantic miniature. Is that even a miniature at that point? That's a huge, huge mini. Um, some boss cards, some more item cards and the boss. You get the picture. They're all the same sort of thing and they all fit nicely into the box though. Again, we'll look in the minis in just a minute. Let's move on to the next expansion. So here we go, this is the last one we'll be unboxing. It's Murgo's Loft. A rising threat emerges. While no hunt should ever be considered routine, some nights contain more terrors than others. Something has emerged somewhere in Yarnum. Something your hunter's sense tells you is far from the perilous far more perilous than any danger before. New enemies never before seen seek the same quarry you do. Though for what purpose, none can say. The air is heavy with dread and anticipation as the hunt begins. Let's get this off. So here we have the box with some lovely art. And there's the, the side art. Very similar to the previous one we just unboxed. Um, just a floor tile and some cards for the expansion and some lovely little minis. And they all fit nicely into the box. Okay, so let's look at some minis. So here is all the miniatures in the core box. Let's have a look at some of these in detail. So here we have the player characters. As you can see, there's a Monopoly thimble for scale reference. They're pretty like standard size minis. So here's the saw cleaver mini. Let's see, let me try and stabilize myself a bit there. So you can see it's, it's very detailed. Like got all the details on his bell, so his pistol. Here is the which one is this? The Threaded Cane Hunter. I like how they've all got different uh, pistols. Real like good look to all these player character minis. This is the the Hunter Axe Hunter. A nice, nice big axe. 
Uh, Miss is literally a curly blade hunter. I know this one. And like, even like the face, it's hard to see on this little camera, but it's very detailed. Considering how small it is. Um, let's look at, so we've got here a big mini of a church giant. Let's move the, let's keep one of these player character ones. Let's keep Ludwig, Ludwig's Holy Blade for scales. So here you go, you can see it's very big, very big mini. But one of the advantages of having such a big mini Struggling to even like keep my camera stable is that you can get a lot more detail. He's got a very. Can you see? Can I get camera? 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 There we go. Very creepy, like disfigured face. Um, what else have we got? We got the Huntsman minions, which are very nice. Quite right, well, you know, good scale for the for the player character. Uh, we have a scourge beast. Very detailed minis. This one's more. It's got a really big base, but there's some really good scale with the enemies here. Like we got a enemy called a mini pale beast if the camera wants to focus on it. There we go. And that is, that's very detailed. And this one, more of like a, a player scale enemy. What else we got? We have the female beast patient. A nice, nice scale again with the player. Um, we got the church servant, which is a bigger mini and therefore has like some really nice detail, especially like the staff and the face under the hat. See, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the, than the player character. Um, we've also got a hunter mob, which is like very cool. Just three mob, three three enemies, but they're all very detailed. Like you can see the shields, and they're all carrying weapons, torches, and they scale quite well with the player. So. That's the the enemy mobs. There's, there's obviously multiples. I'm not going to show you the multiples of them. But there's also some boss monsters. We have Father Gascoigne here. Which, if the camera wants to focus, there we go. Very detailed. And again, scales well with the player. Uh, we have Father Gascoigne transformed. Come on, come on, camera, come on. There we go. Very cool looking mini. Let's see how he. Yeah, scales pretty well. Um. Okay. We have. The Blood Starved Beast. Very cool. Very like intricate as well. Lots of detail on the spine. Oh, those hands look very delicate. <laughs> um there is Vicar Amelia, which is a big one. Oops. 
at these bosses very nice. I'm guessing it's the advantage of being able to just like pull from game models. But it's a very good effect, very, very bloodborne. Um, and finally, for the core box, there is the Cleric Beast, which is the big mini. You can see it's scaling quite well with the player. Very big. And, but the detail on it is really impressive. Like all the, the hair coming out of his arms, fur, I guess. It's like goat face. Really good. And like the base. Some nice detailing. So that's all the minis from the core box. Um, let's move on to the next box. Oh, one more thing. It does actually come with, you can see them over here, like little coloured discs for the players that you can put on the bottom to show who's who. Little counter bases. Quite cool. So here's all the miniatures in the Blood Moon box. This has, I think this is the Kickstarter exclusive, well, I think this is the Kickstarter exclusive box. Um, it has uh, quite a lot of minis. Let's get started. So, first of all, we have, let me move a bit closer, try and get in the light a bit better. Which I think is the, there's no uh, rules with this one. So I can't tell you what the pieces are exactly, but I think this is the doll. If I remember my Bloodborne. Um, we have a little like 3D uh, start marker, like gravestone type thing. I don't know what they, I can't remember what they're called in Bonfire, in Bonfires? In Bloodborne. <laughs> Bonfires in uh, Dark Souls. And we got a little chest. Oh, very nice little detailed terrain object. Um, so we also have some more player ones. This one, don't have a clue. I think it's the threaded cane. Maybe like an alt threaded cane. This one's the wheel, I know that. Very camera focus. Camera. Camera. <laughs> this one's the wheel. Very nice detailed little mini. And we have the Mercy Blades, whatever they're called. The blades, but a very nice mini nonetheless. This one's the Kirk Hammer. I like how they're all they're all like show showcasing the armor quite well, like the various pieces of armor. This one's the Tenitris. If the camera wants to focus, camera. Camera. It's up here. It's up here. There we go. Very nice. What else we got? We have the little uh, scythe weapon, which I don't remember the game of. But this has some, like, the crazy detail. It's hard for me to get the camera to focus on it because it is so tiny. But let me try and yeah, there's some at the very top of the scythe. There's like some like engraving. Very nice. So there, that's all the player objects. You can see the scale is all pretty standard. Um, so there's some enemies. So we have this little. Spider mini here. Oh, this is all the minis that look like on the bottom as well. But very detailed. A lot of like 
fur on the spiders. Very creepy. Um, we've got this thing. Again, don't know the names because this one I think is just the Kickstarter box, so they didn't put any rules or anything, which is normally where I find the proper names for all these. But a very cool mini, nonetheless. This one's quite a big one. If you see for scale. We've got this guy. Trying to like get the light on them a little bit. There we go. All the minis, I say this a lot about all of them, but they're all very detailed. They're all very like unique as well. So we've got this guy. Let's try and keep him on the black background. Uh, this one, the big saw, very nice, um, I think this, the only other mini we have is this thing. Which is a giant spider mini. Is this a boss? Probably. But this one's like the biggest one in the set. Let's see. Oh, that was my thimble. There it is. Let's put this one next to a player. Let's see, quite big compared to the player. So that's all the ones in the Blood Moon box. Let's move to the next. So here is all the minis in the Chalice Dungeon box. There's quite a lot of minis in this one, considering it's an expansion. Let's look at some in detail. So let's start with the players. We have the Hang on, I can't see that. We have the stake driver hunter. Let's try and get him focused. Focus. There we go. Camera playboard. There we go. <laughs> Very detailed mini. As all the player models have been. Here is the Chicage, Chicag. Again, very cool. And we have oh, the Beast Claw Hunter, who's very detailed. And the last player in this is the Rifle Spear. Hunter. Again, crazy detail on these. Especially like the clothing, it's hard to. There we go, it's not a good focus. So let's look at some enemies. We have Keeper of the Old Lord. We're gonna, can we get any sort of. It's hard to tell because of the lighting, but yeah, very detailed under the under the, the hat that he's wearing. So he's quite let's try and get some scale. Pretty like a player size mini. Uh, we have four bell ringers. Don't know why I said the number there. <laughs> There's four in the set, but I'm not gonna show you all four. Let's try and get there we go. Yeah, very detailed. Another player size mini. Uh, we have a, a labyrinth rat. It's quite a large base. Uh, we have a hunting dog. Ow. <laughs> Sharp little mini, but 
lots of nice detail. Um, for oh, we have a rabid dog, which the camera does not want to focus on. Camera, play ball. There we go. A lot of detail on the fur. You can see the scale, like these are all fairly similar sizes. There's this mini, which is incredibly delicate and intricate. It's a Gravekeeper's Scorpion. But this one, like, I think this one might be too delicate. It feels like it could break. But I mean, look at that tail, it's like tiny. See, it's a very small mini. Um, what else have we got? We have somewhere a beast possessed soul. I cannot focus. It's hard to try and get the, the detail across. Yeah, you can sort of see a bit of it there. Uh, what else? We have a Thumerian descendant. This this is quite a big mini. It's got some like it's pretty simple detail on this one, but perfected looks nice. But you can see compared to like the player, bring him forward. Okay, quite quite big. And then um, we have, let's put him back there. So we have an undead giant, another big mini. But see, this has got some real detail on it at the top there. All the candles. And then compared to the player, pretty pretty good size. And Yanum Nume. Numerian Queen? Tumerian Queen? Where? Yanum Tumerian Queen? Not really sure that's how you pronounce that. But another. It's quite large. I'm guessing it's another boss. A little bit bigger than the player. Uh, I think. So we have. Let's bring these all back. Move back. Back. We have this giant mini, which is Watchdog of the Old Lords. If I tilt my light up a bit there. Watchdog of the Old Lords. Nice big mini. If you like big mini, like bigger miniatures than this. It's quite a nice little set. Um, and then there's this one, which is a fluorescent flower. This is, and these minis, I'm gonna have to move these minis out of the way because it's hard to see the detail, but this thing is just, I mean, it's very freaky anyway, but as all the Bloodborne enemies are. But it's so intricate and delicate. So many, like, little tendrils. Another one that I'd be worried that'll break. <laughs> it's quite a big one as well. So that's everything for the Shadows Dungeon. Let's move on to the next one. So here are all the minis in the Upper Cathedral Ward expansion. Let's move these out of the way. So there's only three types of minis in this in this one. So we have this guy. There's no rules, so I don't know the names. But very cool looking mini, very creepy. Little worm coming out of his head. There's these things, like crab 
mushroom head things. How are you going to focus camera? They've got a lot of nice texturing on there, like a subtle texture to the top. And then finally, the biggest mini. I'm pretty sure this is the biggest mini I have in this set. And yeah, it's very impressive. Like just so many details. Like, if we go very like gross looking, but if we go like into the face, I think this is, I don't know what enemy this is, but it's very cool. I'm sure the cards would tell me what enemies it were. Yeah, you can see it's quite, this one's about the player size. So this one, you can see absolutely massive. But that's, there's some doubles, but they don't really matter. Um, yeah, let's move on to the last expansion. Here's all of the minis for the Murgo's Loft expansion. And let's look at them in a bit more detail. So we got, first off, we've got this one again, as with the other ones. I don't know the names, but <laughs> creepy child monster with a whip, but very detailed, very int like very intricate designs on the armor. There's a bigger, like grown up guy with a sword <laughs> and a chain. Very pained expressions, and the big one in this set this guy who just many arms many weapons very creepy and very detailed and they're all like this one's probably smaller than a player this one's i think a little bit bigger then this is the big boy for the set but yeah so that's all the minis in this expansion so there you have it that's the full unboxing of all the Bloodborne, the board game things I have. Um, yeah, you can see ew, there's a lot of them. Um, <laughs> overall, I'm really impressed with the the quality of the minis, the amount of the minis. If you like these sort of like heavy miniature based uh, board games that are quite popular now, I think um, you know this is a nice little package. Especially if you like Bloodborne, it seems very authentic to the source material. Um, yeah, that's that's all I have for this unboxing. If you want to see me do another unboxing, right on this channel, there's a Devil May Cry the board game unboxing. Uh, you can also watch me and my friend Jade play uh, some video games, the forbidden, the forbidden game, <laughs> on twitch.tv slash jadesamgames. I'll put it along the screen here, I imagine. Um, I'll be back at some point with another board game unboxing. I don't know what the next one coming is. I have a few coming in the next year, so there'll probably be more videos. If you want to, like, I don't know, you know, you know what to do if you want to see more videos. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.